Hi, my name is Wayne Winston. I'm a professor of decision and information sciences at the Bauer College of Business at the University of Houston. So if you're here, you probably read Michael Lewis's great book, Moneyball, or saw the movie. So what does Moneyball mean? Essentially, using math or the term now, I guess, is analytics or sports analytics to basically improve the performance of the team. So we'll focus in this course on football, basketball, and baseball teams. So what are some topics that we'll talk about in this course, some interesting topics? Well, we'll talk about bunting. Why is bunting usually a bad idea? The Moneyball book makes a big point about this, but you'll understand the math behind that idea. If you've been watching Major League Baseball, you've seen a lot of teams shift their fielders to the right side of the infield and even the outfield when left-hand hitters are up. Why is that a good idea? We'll learn more about that. You probably have heard a lot of pundits say NFL coaches are too conservative. They feel go too often and don't go for it enough on fourth down. The pundits are exactly right and will show you the math that proves that NFL coaches are way, way too conservative. We'll also use Excel in our course to help you set NFL point spreads and fill out your NCAA bracket, which I know all of you are interested in. So let's return to basketball for a moment. The 2015 season was not a good one for the Knicks or Lakers. So you might think it's because they couldn't shoot very well. To be honest, it's because they had horrible shot selection. So we'll detail that horrible shot selection of the Knicks and Lakers in the 2015 season. So maybe you're interested in sports gambling. We'll talk about point spreads, we'll talk about the money line, we'll talk about prop spits. You may even be interested in daily fantasy sports where you, every night you pick a baseball team or a basketball team and you see that night whether your team scored more fantasy points than your opponents. So those are some of the topics that we'll cover in this course. So our emphasis will be practical even though it's a math course. We will use Excel for every example. We'll use real life data for every example. So I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey to learn more about the math behind Moneyball.